Hey guys, I'm Kenton, welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm usually talking about Minimoto installations or time at the track, but I've got some new riding gear, so I thought I'd do a quick video uh, talking about these two items. I've got uh, some new, more casual riding jeans, but with good protection, and I've got a new bespoke track suit uh, that fits much better than the Alpine Stars suit that I was wearing previously, and I'll show you the fit comparison and talk about some of those differences. So anyway, let me first talk about these jeans. These are from a company called NBT, and I'd been served up a whole bunch of ads on Instagram about these, uh, to the point that I reached out to the company saying I'd like to try it out, and uh, I'm pretty happy with them. I know there's a camp of writers that are about all the gear all the time, and I get a lot of comments and flack when I'm not wearing all the gear, even when I'm just riding my Grom or CT70 around town. I definitely have respect for folks that want to wear all the gear all the time, and that's definitely the safer way to do it. But if I'm just riding to a neighbor's house or uh, somewhere pretty low speed, I'm really not inclined to get fully geared up with the jacket and the track pants and everything else that goes with it. Particularly when I was living in Florida, in the middle of summer, that's, especially if you're going slow with a lot of stop and go, that's pretty painful. Uh, anyway, I do try to gear up though when I can. I'm always wearing a lid, uh, but I do like options that look more casual and feel more casual, but still offer protection. So uh, these jeans, again, from a company called NBT, and I'll link directly in the description below to them. They've got some track style qualities, uh, and overall is a really good looking casual pair of jeans. So a couple of things, overall it's stretchy. It's got um, some flex across the entire pair of pants. It has some flex in the leg here, just like my tracksuit does, as well as some flex in the back, just like the tracksuit does. So when you're bending over, you get some stretch there without it trying to pull your pants down. And then it's got a pocket here where it comes with level one protection. It also comes with a thinner black uh, piece if you want even less protection, but still to have something. And particularly as I've been practicing wheelies on my stunt grom, having some knee protection is important. Um, I haven't looped the bike yet, which I know means I'm not pushing it hard enough, but inevitably I will. And having knee and elbow and back protection when you're doing stuff like that, particularly when you're starting off like I am, uh, for one, boosts the confidence, but two, when you do loop the bike, you hopefully don't get hurt as badly. So anyway, really happy with this. From a fit perspective, they do run about a size or size and a half big. This is a 28. I typically wear like a 29 or even a 30 size waist. Uh, and even this 28 is still slightly big for me. Um, it's not too big that I'd wear a belt, but I like jeans being a little bit tight, especially when there's a stretch material in it. So I would order a size down or a size and a half lower than you typically do. I also like the length. So I'm usually wearing, again, 29 by 30 length. Uh, this is a couple of inches longer, but that's great from a riding perspective. So when you're in that riding position, uh, the end of the pants still go over your shoe. Anyway, a really good looking jean, um, also very affordable. I know some of these jeans get really expensive. I've got a couple other pairs that, uh, you know, get into a couple, if not several hundred dollars. And uh, this one's priced really well. So uh, definitely something great for folks that are trying to balance style and comfort with a little bit of protection when you're out riding your bike. Okay, and so now for the new track suit. I ordered this from a company called Motogem, who took like 40 different measurements and uh, built it to my size and also design specifications. I gave them the color of my helmet and uh, the logo, and they actually put this together, the design, pretty quickly. This was also pretty affordable. It was a couple hundred dollars less than my Alpine Stars missile suit. This has kangaroo leather, and the build quality is really good. All of the parts where the suit come together, all the stitching looks great. It's also pretty light. It's slightly less than my Alpine Star suit. I assume that has to do with the kangaroo leather that's supposed to be a little bit thinner, allowing the overall suit to be a little bit lighter. Uh, but all of the stitching work and the logo work look really nice. Um, definitely happy with the overall look. And then the fit is the big difference. This feels very good. I've only rode it on a couple of times around the block and it's a little bit tight, but it's tight in the places that I know are gonna give a little bit and break in well once I uh, start spending some time on the track. So let me put it on real quick and I'll show you how well it fits. And then let me also put on my, actually first let me put on my Alpine Star suit to show you the areas that uh, were kind of bunched up and not tight. And then I'll get this on. The reason you wanna have a suit that fits really well is that if you do fall off the bike, for one, you wanna be able to slide. And if it does bunch up, it can impact the strength of the material. And plus if it bunches up, it doesn't let you slide. It'll get you caught up and you'll start tumbling. So you definitely wanna have a suit that fits well uh, let me show you what it looks like on the Alpine Star suit. So this suit is a size 38. I'm 140 pounds and 
five foot eight, maybe five foot, seven and a half now. But overall it fits well. I can just barely stand all the way straight without it putting too much pressure um, in different areas. And overall it fits okay. The area where it's really loose though is there's just a lot of material here on the sides that uh, particularly when I'm sitting down, doesn't get all that tight. And so especially here in the leg, there's just a lot of material that is still hanging off. And obviously suits are meant to fit a wide range of different body types and being particularly skinny, it just isn't as tight as I'd like it to be. So let me put on the other suit and show you how much better it fits. So here's the other suit. I'm gonna leave the top open so hopefully it doesn't interfere with the microphone, but a much tighter fit. Again, they take measurements across your entire body. So a very nice fit all the way around the middle section. Again, I can still stand almost completely tall without feeling uncomfortable, but in the riding position, everything feels really good. You can see that it's got the East Coast-ish logo. All of that looks really nice. And they let me put whatever logos I wanted. They asked for at least one placement for their logo, so they put it up here on the collar. And I think overall that looks really good. And now, particularly down here at the legs, everything is nice and tight. It actually feels a little bit too tight right around here, but I'm expecting that to break in after I get some real riding time, but the section here, again, all feels much better and is tight enough that if I am to go down, I'm going to be sliding on it. There's no material really to, to bunch up in the event that I'm sliding across the ground. Anyway, even with the AC blasting here indoors, it's getting a little bit warm with the suit on. So I just wanted to briefly show you guys uh, my new track suit and also talk about the MBT pants. I'll put links in the description to both of these uh, companies if you're interested in checking out their products. And you'll be seeing both of these products on my channel as I'm wearing this at the track and those NBT pants while I'm practicing those wheelies. So anyway, thank you everybody very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.